Lisa's here to talk about sculpture and uh, an artist named Alexander Calder. Um, and we're also going to talk about Valentine's. So we've talked about sculpture before and we know that's artwork that you can walk around or you can put your hand around. Um, sculpture can be hanging like this mobile that I made with hearts and I used felt for the hearts and I used pipe cleaners and a hanger and I also used part of a feather boa. These feather boas can be bought for just a dollar at the dollar store. And you know, parents, I wanted to let you know I try every week to use materials that you may have at home so you don't have to buy a lot of stuff. It's fun to recycle, like with this coat hanger. And today we're going to look at how we can use paper clips to make a sculpture. But before I show you those, I'd like to read a little bit about the artist Alexander Calder. So he actually was trained as an engineer. You know, engineers are really smart. They build things. And when you make a sculpture, you're building something, right? So it says here, Alexander Calder was an American sculptor. That means he lived here in the United States, who first was trained as an engineer, not as a sculptor. And his most famous technique was called a mobile which is what this is, something that hangs, right? But a mobile can also be standing, like this little one here. It's made out of some foam and paper clips and buttons. So maybe you have stuff like that right at home. And it's called a standing mobile because you can set it on a table. Um, let's see what else it says about Alexander Calder. It said, as a child, as a child like you all, Calder enjoyed making things from old dishes and pieces of wire. And that's why I used wire today. He also loved to make contraptions. Oh, I love that word, contraptions. Just things, right? Just maybe little machines. It says he loved to make contraptions from junk. <laughs> I like that. He said, and, and he would hang them from the ceiling and they would swing freely. And so that's when he first discovered mobiles and his love for sculpture when he was just a child. So I wanted to show you, besides this one that I made out of felt, I also made this one with pipe cleaners. And these are little stacking toys that we used to use in the classroom. Some of you might remember that we used to play with these. But I wanted to ask you, is this a standing sculpture? Or is this one that you could hang? It's one that you could hang. It's not a standing one. But maybe it could be standing. Well, I guess if it's sitting on the table, you could call it a standing sculpture, right? Look at this sculpture I made with a foam ball and pipe cleaners and some little foamies, see? And I put the paper clip on there so that if I wanted to, I could hang it. And then this one here, this little heart, I made out of tin foil, and I used some curling ribbon. So you all may have some curling ribbon at home that you could use too. There's so many ways that you could make a mobile or a sculpture, right? Something that's three-dimensional. So I want you to use your imagination and your creativity to make it however you want. But I also want to remind you, um, that it is Valentine's Day next week and you'll probably be making some Valentine's. I hope you will for your friends and your family. And I wanted to show you an easy way to make a heart. You might need some help with this. This paper here is folded, right? And here's the fold line is right here. And then you could maybe ask uh, your older brother or older sister or mom or dad to draw dash marks or half of a heart, just like I have here. And then you can cut it, thumb in the small hole on top and your fingers on the bottom in the bigger hole. And I'm only making half of a heart, cutting it. And then when I open it, 
there's the whole heart, see? So when you fold it, and if you wanted to, you could make a smaller heart right along in here and cut that out, and then there would be an opening. Let me show you. I'm not going to draw it because I can cut it without drawing it because I've made a lot of these, so I don't really need to draw those lines. But when you're first learning, I think it's important to get a little help. So here's the small heart that I cut out. And then on this big heart, now I have an opening. And if you want, you can make a mobile out of these paper hearts too. Maybe use pipe cleaner or curling ribbon. Whatever you might have at home, decorate it with markers and crayons, some paint. I know you all make beautiful Valentines because I've seen it before. And um, I want you to remember the artist we talked about today. His name is Alexander Calder. And this is a picture of one of his mobiles. And a lot of his mobiles, whoops, a lot of his mobiles actually hang in an art museum where I used to work when I was in college. And I always loved watching them spin around and I love the bright colors. So remember, tell your friends about an artist you love, like I did today. I miss you and I hope you have a fun Valentine's. Bye bye. Okay. All right.